Hello everyone, this is Janet. I just want to come to you and show you a little tidbit what I'm working on. I'm working on a journal for a custom order and I just wanted to show you what you can reuse and make it into a photo holder for whether it's an album or a journal or whatever you're working on. I'm all, I've got everything pre-cut pre um, um, inked because that's what I am doing in this uh, journal but I am going to be gluing everything with the art glitter glue um, this is really good when you are working on very precise lines and precise edges so because it comes with a tip and and a needle so just a heads up and you can get this at uh, artsy haven in Columbus so just a shout out to them this is an ordinary um, envelope it has I love the wide envelopes and of course we zip every you know uh, just the top of the envelope take everything out and you know and so what I've done is that I have folded it up just to cover the bottom of the window there because I don't like that little edge there so I covered it up but before I decided, I de also decided that I wanted to just thinly cut a very tiny strip to open this end up of the envelope. Do you understand what I'm saying here? So I folded it up and it's roughly about two and a half-ish in there. So it's going to end, of course, I inked everything out. But I had this little, beautiful little... Uh, ad uh, about in a McCall's magazine. I think this is 1940 something. Actually, no, I think it's probably earlier. So I cut that out and that's going to be my back of the, and sorry about the glare here. Maybe that'll help. Um, a back of, I'm going to just put it right all the way up. So that fits perfect. So that's going to be coming through and I'm going to glue that to the back of the envelope. I'm going to glue that to the back of the envelope so that will not be able to come out. And then I just took some old basil paper and many of you have been in the business long enough you understand what basil is. And I just, because I didn't want any of the envelope really to show, I wanted it to be something original. And I had this torn of an simplicity vintage pattern envelope. So I took that, inked it up, and that's gonna be on this side. It's just another ephemera just to show or to cover that up because there's just, you know, there's just a lot of stuff that I don't want to be shown. So I punched out the tab and I just use a, you know, um, I'm not sure. Anyway, it's a, a touch, it's a circle punch just so I can um, cut that out and, and slide something in there. And this is a, a map. I love the blues to it. So I just ripped one of those things out, inked it, and that's going to be like that. What my whole point was is to, for this person, she has two children, and I wanted a pocket, a flip pocket in my journal so she can hold four by six pictures. Um, her husband is a photographer and I know she does pictures. So this is just a, you know, so it's gonna come in, she can put a whole four by six picture cause it's going to hold that. So, and then of course I am going to put a little um, a hinge and so it can go like this. So basically that's what it is. I know it's simple. It's, you know, you're using some of these things and, you know, the envelopes and just things that you have, actually scraps that you have, scraps of paper, but it, it really makes it a really cool pocket page in your albums. You can do this in your albums or any other book that you have. So thanks for stopping. I comment and like me on Instagram and Facebook and YouTube. Thank you very much. Love y'all. Bye.